Hello and welcome to the most powerful motorsport in the world, tractor pulling. This is round one of the Danish Championships from Herning in this, the 25th anniversary year of the sport first coming to Denmark. Of course, once the teams have arrived, it's a question of getting set up, saying hi to friends, polishing what needs to be polished, adjusting what needs to be adjusted, and then crossing your fingers and hoping that all the winter's work has proved worthwhile. This little guy seems to have spotted something. Or maybe it was Kermit the Frog. Anyway, tractor pulling originated in the States, came to Holland in the 70s and finally to Denmark in 1983 when the first event was held at Roskilde Holte Show in June of that year with Gunnar New Hansen, the famous Danish sports commentator, as the mic man. The man on the mic has changed and now there are over 60 tractors in nine classes on today's programme. We only have time to feature three. The object is to pull this sledge and weight box down a 100 metre track which gives you a full pull and a place in a pull-off final. Extra weight is added and the winning tractor is the one which pulls the furthest. The first class today is the 2.5 tonne modifieds which includes the European champion Black Power with Paul O. Jensen from Scan behind the wheel. But almost next door neighbour Soren Jakobsen with Volsen Volvo always provides tough opposition. I asked him his hopes for the first run. Uh, the hopes are always big in the beginning and uh, we hope that uh, we'll make a, a good run and uh, have a good competition and uh, with a machine without anything that's broken. It's always difficult when you're up against the European champion, isn't it? Yeah, Black Power is, uh, is, uh, is the worst uh, competition. Yeah, he's very strong. Well, it's a 57-litre Rolls-Royce Griffin V12 motor that used to power Shackleton bombers in World War II and it gives Soren 4,000 horsepower to play with. Well, he's firing up, running on methanol and he is really doing the business. Yes, and we start with a full pull to Volsum Volvo. And what about that for a heat haze from the Rolls-Royce motor? Advisable not to touch the exhaust stacks for a while. So full pull to Volsen Volvo, and now the others know what they have to do. Well, this is Ghost with 40-year-old Kim Schultz from Hellevel in southern Jutland. He has a mini puller of the same name, but he had all sorts of problems last season with this new member of the family. That's a Meteor motor, the last saw service in a Centurion tank. Slowly away, but at least it's moving. And that's it. And that'll be just over 60 metres. Yes, 64.69 for Ghost. And he's absolutely delighted with that pull. Even though it's uh, not good enough for a place in the final. And they can't see what all the fuss was about. But at least Kim can begin to see a future for Ghost. 60-year-old Finn Larsen and Dingo were just about ready for the new season. And he says, well, we're just about finished. We've been working on it since the middle of February with new parts for the engine. And we've also removed and regulated the fuel pump since we made a test run last autumn. And uh, we were finally finished yesterday and we really hope that we'll be successful. But at least we will have tried. Well, the motor comes from a man Mercedes lorry and it's his younger brother Arna who in fact built the first dingo who's helping him today. Right, let's see what they can do. And not a lot by the looks of things. Oh well. Back to the drawing board. Well, I'm not sure if he's laughing or if he's uh, yawning, but uh, at least he's enjoying himself. 
So 151 recorded for Dingo. Now let's talk to European champion Paul Ower Jensen. Yeah, we were in Germany last weekend at a pooler down there. So it's the second time this year. Everything went well? Yeah, we had a problem in the front end at the first run, but uh, and then we had got it fixed and it runs okay. Well, earlier in the day, his nephew, Henrik Jensen, won the 3.5 ton modifieds with this pull and black power. And now Paul is hoping to do the same in the lighter class. That's his father standing by his three Keith Black V8 engines, which give him 4,000 horsepower. He's 12 times European champion and still only 34 years old. High up at the front. Oh, yes. That was easy peasy for the electrician from Scan. So full pull to Black Power, and we have a two way pull off final. And he's looking forward to it. Well, they say there's a friendly rivalry between these two whose houses are about 100 metres apart. When they've won a trophy, they make sure it's put in their window just so the other can see it when they drive by. Son, well away, but sliding over to his left a little, and I think he's had to break correct, which will have cost him a couple of yards. Nevertheless, that's a good pull from Volsen Volvo. 97.05, and now he'll have to wait and watch and see if it's good enough. Right, now black power, and Paul has his sights set on winning the Danish Championships, the Euro Cup, and the European Championships, which this year are in Norway. And in my book, he must be favorite for at least two of those titles. Well, he's drifting a little to his right. He stays in bounds though. 97.05 to beat. Has he done it? Yes, he has. Just over two meters to spare. 99.15 to black power. Here's the final result. Olsen Volvo was second and Ghost was third. There are the three lucky lads. And afterwards, I spoke to Paul. Yeah, good, good event with the two first place. So everything is perfect. What about your rivalry with uh, Volsen Volvo? Yeah, it's got a little bit close today. Uh, he's getting better and better and uh, it's more fun now. You didn't have any more to give at the end there? No, not today. And a nice groovy mover as we turn our attention to the next class, the Pro Stocks. And of the six from last year's performances, Perhaps John Deere with Rasmus Hoyen and Bucke Bruiser with Jakob Jensen must be the favourites, but we'll have to see. Well, first on the track is Blue Rabbit with Henrik Svenningsen from Yarrup in North Jutland. It's an 8.3 litre Ford Power Star, which gives him 1800 horsepower. He's well away, but not quite the speed to take him to a full pull, I don't think. And the Rabbit rests at about 80 metres. Yes, 81.91 for Blue Rabbit. He wasn't impressed. Backing up to the sledge is John Deere, which is an 8.3 litre John Deere. And that's Rasmus Hoyen from Hurup in the hot seat. He finished second in the Euro Cup in 2007, had the same number of points as the winner, Rocky from Holland, but because the Dutchman scored 15 points at the final event and Rasmus only had 12, he took the title. This year, he's hoping to go one better, and a win today will be a big confidence booster. 2,200 horsepower, powering him down the track, and really putting him out the end. An impressive full pull from the green one. He'll be happy with that. And popcorn was a big hit with just about everyone. Now this is 61-year-old Niels Damgore from Aulum near Herning, busy right up to yesterday trying to get Blue Bambina ready for this first event. It's a Ford 83.40, easing the clutch and then water, water everywhere. And back to the workshop for Nils. 
one centimetre for Bambino. And that's life. Over 2,000 people here today enjoying the fine weather, the good music and the cold beer, and of course, the action on the track. This is Guile Special, six in last year's championships. Gets his name from his driver, Paul Guile from Uha. Paul has upgraded his Ford, hoping for big things. But just like Blue Rabbit, he runs out of steam at about 80 metres. 82.23, and that puts him in second spot at the moment with two more to pull. Il Tempo Gigante finished third last year for Bo Svensson from Tisted. It's an 8.3 litre case engine giving him 1500 horsepower. But they need all of that because the sledge weighs 10 tonnes and there's about 5 tonnes extra in the weight box so you need some real muscle to move it. And today, no contest, the sledge won. 8.16 metres to Il Tempo Gigante. I suppose that's what you call having an off day. Well, he seems to have lost some oil as well, making it a very off day. But Cabruza is hoping for an on day. Jakob Jensen from Kellerup, near here, won the Danish Championships in 2005, but since then he's been overshadowed by his big rival John Deere. After this class we have a feature about the tyres and tyre cutting, which is a vital part of this sport, and a good set of tyres like he's got costs about 45,000 Danish kroner. So it's an expensive part as well. Right, let's see what he can do. Front wheels off the ground, perfect pulling position, touching once, and then over for a full pull. That was how it should be done. A perfect textbook run for Booker Bruiser. So two full pulls and we have another two-way pull-off final. John Deere against Booker Bruiser. In the pits, the chassis was up for John Deere. He was topping up the water and I asked him how much. He said they were adding 50 litres of water, but he wasn't keen to predict he'd win because Jakob Jensen was running well. Yes, and all age groups just love tractor pulling. On the track, Booker Bruiser and John Deere are rivals, but off the track they work together to produce turbo systems for other pro stocks around Europe. Right now it's down to business. Tractors pull by friction on top of the track, not digging into it, so the secret is to transfer the power from the engine to the tyres, spinning them as fast as you can to create the friction you need. John Deere's tyres are spinning at 85 kilometres an hour. And this is another really good pull. Not quite 100 metres, but very close. 95.07 for Rasmus Hoy. And that's what you call a small ripple amongst the public. Well, the length of the track is extended for pull-offs. It's now 110 metres but I don't think anyone will come close to a double full pull. So Booker Bruiser needs 95.08 to win, and Jakob would love to start the season with a victory. Front in the air, throttle hard down. A great run, and that looks longer than the deer. Almost 100 metres. 98.01, he's done it. Jakob Jensen has beaten his buddy by about three metres. That's the official result. Paul Guile taking third place. And the victory podium with more silverware for the wife to clean. Well, afterwards I spoke to Jakob and asked him how he had prepared for today. Well, he said, we've driven a couple of times indoors in Holland, so we know how the tractor runs and what we needed to do. And he says, we're always very yeah, close to John Deere, so I'm happy to win today. Now it's Tech Corner, where today we're visiting Steen Dam from Witherbeck near Herning, who runs EuropeanTireCutting.com, and I asked him how he started. 
It's 10 years ago I started cutting tyres because I needed them for my own tractor and agricultural tyres, the normal sort, were not suitable. As far as I know, I'm the only person to cut tyres in Europe for tractor pulling. The principle is, if you compare with normal agricultural tyres that are designed to drive in muddy conditions and use traction, whereas uh, tractor pullers use friction. The reason why there is a small lug on the tyre is you need to move some earth so you don't drive on the same, so you don't overheat the tyres, which is very important. People can come with their own tyres or they can buy a finished set from Steen who reckons to cut and provide up to 40 sets in a season. It takes approximately two days to cut a tyre like this one. I do it in my leisure time, so sometimes it can take longer. It's about 16 hours per tyre. Steen is not the only option. Teams can import the tyres themselves from America. I use this little instrument to create the chevron design, which is very important. And a set of tyres ready to use would cost about 45,000 kroner per set. The tyres are bolted onto the wheels to keep them in place because of the speeds they turn the wheels at. On now to the final class of the day, the 4.5 tonne modified, 6 to the start and Big Mama 2 must be one of the favourites as reigning champion. Now, I spoke to Lars Olsen who told me about Black Lady. Yeah, it's a modified tractor, 4.5 uh, kilos and um, we have a Transmass Indian, 6 cylinders, uh, nearly 20 litres and one turbo and, and we have a big fuel pump. That's the What's the horsepower? I think about 1800, I think so. On a good day. Lars has finished second behind Big Mama 2 over the last three years, so he'd really like to take over the top spot. The 19.2 litre Transmash motor with 1800 horsepower is waiting to be unleashed down the track. There he goes. And straight down the middle. No fuss, not so much speed, but very effective. Oh yes, and that is a deserved full pull for Lars Olsen from Vorgood Ustabu. The shadow's getting longer as the sun sinks down the sky, and this is Slelhund with the teddy bear on top. It's a Transmash V12 and built last year by Leif Jonsson from Vorlelgård. He had a couple of not so good pulls last season, but still managed overall third place. Now he's aiming higher. Oh, that is a shame. Running out of steam just short of the 100 metre mark. 96.13 for Slerhun. Well, at least it's given life something to think about on his way back to the pits. At the start now, it's no name with Jesper Hansen from Reba behind the wheel. It's a Transmash motor and he has a special Russian compressor. He's had the green flag, but he's lacking in speed. And that's it, and that's all from no name. 38.55 is the distance. Better luck next time is the message. And he left a trail of oil that had to be cleared up. And kitty litter is what they use. Last year, Metal Boy finished in overall fourth place, but he did win the last event of the season. And that's what Matt Hansen plans to do today. His sister Anya won the B Division event earlier, so he has a lot to live up to. The boy uses a big Ivica motor. And he seems just about ready. Oh, a 
and this looks promising. Nice turn of speed. And that was very impressive from Metal Boy. A well-deserved full pull and we will have a pull-off final. And we still have two more to go. Il Tempo Gigante, the modified, is ready to roll. Jan Rasmussen in charge and he needs a full pull to make the final. Straight down the middle, but does he have the speed? I don't think so. And that is just short, I think. Yeah, 97.97, but it does give him third place with one more to pull. That's Soren Dahl ready at the start and raring to go. He's happy with Big Bama 2 and this will complete the qualifying round. Waiting for the scraper and roller to leave the track, but now he's got the green. And Soren opens up his 17.2 litre Ivico V8. Coasting along. Never in doubt, we now have a three-way pull-off. So, full pull to Big Mama 2. And here are the finalists. There's the champion, Big Mama 2, and two wannabes. And she says, oh, I'll drink to that. Well, they're putting extra weight on the sledge to make it even heavier. And they're increasing the lengths of the spikes which dig into the ground under the sledge, so it won't be easy. Going first is Black Lady and Lars Olsen. He says this is his favourite track. Will it be kind to him this evening, I wonder? It's after seven here at Herning, but most of the spectators have stayed to watch this last event. Off he goes and... Oh, oh, it's much harder this time. And Black Lady is reined in at about the 80 metre mark. So 82.5 for Lars Olsen. And before we see Mads Hansen and Metal Boy, I thought you'd like to see his sister's winning run in the B division. The only girl pulling today, and what a way to go. Making a point, and she's hoping her brother can do likewise. Well, I can imagine the conversation around the dinner table if he doesn't take top spot. much more speed than Black Lady. This is a good run. And he is well over the 100 metre mark. A good pull from Mads. That's 102.11 and that is the new distance to beat. So the final pull of the day. Sorendal and Big Mama 2. Soren comes from Wilson. He always seems to be smiling. Whether he will be in about a minute's time, we'll have to wait and see. He had to brake correct there to stay on line, and every time you do that, you lose speed and distance. No, I don't think he's going to do it. About 10 metres short. 91.75, but that's still good enough for second place behind Metal Boy, who can hold his head high at the dinner table. Third was Lars Olsen and Black Lady. Well, there are the three winners, and Mads was delighted with the double family victory. And finally, here's the Danish calendar, so if you'd like to feel the earth move, Go along to one of the events or check out their website. Well, that's it from Herning and this is Roger England saying enjoy your pulling and see you next time.